For the 67th day, Lebanese gathered in Beirut's Martyr Square to make a stand against the economic and political crisis, but on Sunday it was more like a carnival than a protest. The Lebanese capital had witnessed some of the worst violence seen for years, as security forces clashed with supporters on either side of the political divide. Numbers were well down and in marked contrast to the anger and violence of previous gatherings. It's perhaps an indication that some at least are prepared to give the designated Prime Minister Hassan Diab a chance. If he fails, no, it's going to be a big problem. Yeah, people are not going to go out from the streets. We're going to make him fail in the streets. Why are we being pessimistic? We should be optimistic. The new prime minister is decent and is not corrupted. He seems to be the man for the job. And if it doesn't work, we'll find another solution. Diab was nominated by a weak majority parliament comprising of Iran-backed Hezbollah and its allies, the Shia Amal movement, and President Michel Aoun's Christian Free Patriotic Movement. He has promised to appoint a new government filled with technocrats and experts within six weeks. Tension may have reduced, but for some within the Sunni community, there is still anger that their leader, Saad Hariri, has not been chosen as prime minister. And there are fears that some are seeking to cause a rift between the Sunni and Shia communities. It seems like some are secretly trying to incite secretarian strife, and in reality, we are far away from that. We took to the streets because of the economy and not religion. That is the priority, the need for a government to solve the economic crisis. Lebanon is running out of short-term choices. The country has one of the world's biggest debt burdens, and in March is due to repay a $1.5 billion euro bonds loan, which it's likely to default on, and that can only worsen the dire economic situation here. David Hale, the U.S. Under Secretary of State for Political Affairs, is in Beirut meeting with various political leaders. He is key to delivering $11 billion in international aid, which is being locked until economic and political reforms are implemented. Lebanon um, is in, in, in deep trouble uh, financially, and I think at a certain stage, um, within the next uh, week or so, there, there will be even more uh, constraints on the banking sector and um, people will take to the streets. Some are still singing about revolution, but many are praying for a solution. For now, the people of Lebanon can only wait and hope. Tony Bertley, Al Jazeera, Beirut.